Hello everybody and welcome back to WoW Mods. This time around we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, so I'm back it at the at my Quell Aman um, uh, custom area. The area has been sort of on lockdown for the past couple of months maybe because I have a problem in that direction. As you can see there's a bit of a uh, uh, of lag spike when looking in, in that direction and that's because I have a million uh, duplicated uh, waterfalls and I still don't know how to fix that problem. So I actually had to turn down the render distance so that I could come into this uh, area without crashing. Hopefully, um, because this is uh, by far one of my favorite uh, areas. Oh, so as I was saying, there's a couple of crashes there um, that are happening and I'll hopefully have to uh, deal with that uh, pretty soon. Um, but that is not actually the motive uh, of this uh, video. What the, f the thing that I want to actually do this time around is I actually want to show you, there was a couple of requests to, to show you um, what I did uh, with texture work. Um, so I want to show you uh, a very easy way, um, an introduction, I guess, uh, to working with uh, textures. So here I have uh, this uh, Keldurai, or Keldurai, whatever you want to call it, Steed. Um, and uh, it's the type that's actually uh, available uh, in the game with, of course, uh, some uh, actual custom um, uh, spells uh, applied to it. I believe we can actually um, mana tap and then use Arcane Torrent and then be attacked uh, <laughs> by the horse, uh, by the mana worm. Um, but in any case, this is how they are presented in game. And um, they're all right, but I actually want uh, to do something a little bit different, make them look a little bit more uh, magic if, if that's possible. So um, I'm going to hop on over uh, to another little piece of uh, software, and I'll show you how I go about uh, doing that change. So let's go now. All right, and uh, here we are. We are now in the World of Warcraft model viewer. You can see the version and revision there. Um, and what we're looking at right now is actually the file in the game is called Zebra Mount. Um, so what we want to do with Zebra Mount is we actually want to find the correct skin uh, for that particular mount. And here we go. We have the correct skin. Now, um, in order to edit this, what are my, um, what, what's my goal here? Well, my goal is to make this match a little bit more, um, of the Blood Elven, um, mounts in the sense that High Elves, Blood Elves, same thing, culturally speaking, they could, they should kind of look the same. Uh, what would be different would be the color selections, uh, but armor and the little details, gold, uh, that should all be the same. So one of the ways uh, that you can go about uh, doing that is actually looking at the uh, textures in the game. And if you open uh, this particular section here, you'll actually come and you'll see all the particular textures. So what we want to do now is uh, we want to get the white texture, of course, will view in PNG, and this will actually show me what the texture looks like uh, and what I would need to edit to actually get this working the way that I want. Now, um, there's something that's uh, really interesting, and is at least that in my version of World of Warcraft Model Viewer, is that once you do, uh, once you select that option in view in PNG, it will actually create the file uh, in the folder of this particular program. Now, um, the next thing that we're going to go do is we want a, a reference point. We want something else which is actually themed uh, uh, or is a Blood Elf mount. So the best way is going and finding uh, the Dragon Hawks. Or not the Dragon Hawks, but the Dragon... The Dragon... The Hawk Strider. Hawk Strider. That's what they're called. In any case, they're not called that uh, in uh, the game per se. They're actually called cockatrice um, so we have them here and this texture here is a white uh, texture um, sort of featuring the uh, cockatrice and um, it has as you can see all sort of like the golden elements 
uh, we have the, the crystal details, the feet, uh, and all that. So these little elements are what we want to import or bring over uh, to the actual uh, zebra mount. So um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to look ahead and see cockatrice white, view in PNG, and here is the texture uh, for that. It looks like it has uh, a lot of uh, alpha channels, which are probably applied to or, or meant to create some sort of glow. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and export that. So the next step is we now have to jump over to Photoshop and see how these textures look in a software editing program. All right, and we're back. Uh, so this time around, uh, we have here the finished product. And so uh, this is what the mount uh, looks like now. Um, it's very um, appropriate, I would think. It, it uh, the the characters uh, definitely seem like it belongs uh, in this area we're just gonna go ahead and we'll mount it sorry for the lag like I said before we've been having problems with this particular area I know what the problems are um, duplicated m2s and hopefully I'll be able to take care of that uh, sooner rather than later um, but yeah here we go and we have and we have the mount um, which apparently also has the uh, capacity to mana tap. Okay, let's go. Let's see if that works. Oh, and we've got some of our... There we go. Dead. Let's see if we can mana tap some more here. Oh, will this work? Oh. Bam. Call the attention. Okay, it doesn't seem like uh, some of the uh, particular elements of it um, are not uh, functioning all that well. But that's just because I have to dedicate more work uh, server side. Um, but this is the uh, skin, essentially. I didn't show you the parts um, that essentially just require conversion uh, and, and adding it into a patch. I just wanted to show you what's possible uh, with skins um, when it comes to, for example, creatures, and when it comes to just simply replacing uh, textures that are in-game. Uh, next time around, I might actually add some textures um, that will uh, be for some of the new parts or some of the new uh, um, items. Um, and uh, I'll show you how that particular uh, thing works. It's going to be a bit more of a... 
Oh, there's a bit of, of lag spike there. It's going to be a little bit more uh, technical um, when we talk about that. Uh, but until then, everybody. Um... Oh, another lag spike. Uh, the area is, is quite, quite uh, tricky right now. Um, but until then, everybody, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.